Sweden's failure to qualify for the 2010 World Cup led to the resignation of coach Lars Lagerbeck. His replacement, Eric Hamren, would take charge for the Euro 2012 qualification campaign, which saw them drawn alongside Finland, Hungary, Moldova, the Netherlands and San Marino in Group E. Sweden began the qualifying stage at home to Hungary. Five minutes after the break, they were ahead through Pontus Wernblum's first international goal. And the midfielder's night got even better, with just under 20 minutes to go when he added a second. Six goals against Group E whipping boys San Marino four days later put Sweden on top of the standings. Slatan Ibrahimovic playing in his hometown of Malmo opened the scoring within 10 minutes. Two own goals from San Marino saw the host go three up by half time, although a red card for Olaf Mjellberg didn't help Sweden's cause. Ibrahimovic completed his brace as the Swedes ran out comfortable winners. However, they were brought crashing down to earth a month later with a 4-1 defeat away to the Netherlands. Sweden got back to winning ways in March 2011 when they met Moldova. Defender Mikhail Lustig scored his first international goal with half an hour gone. Ibrahimovic missed a penalty for the hosts, but Sebastian Larsson added Sweden's second late on. Alexandru Suvorov's stoppage time goal proving little consolation. Two months later, the two sides met again, with Sweden completing the double over Moldova. Ola Toivonen's early effort slipped through to make it 1-0. Goals either side of half-time from Johan Elmanda put them in complete control. Igor Bogoyev scored for Moldova, but a late strike from Alexander Geant sealed a comfortable win. The Swedes made it nine goals in a week when they took on neighbours Finland four days later. All the headlines were reserved for substitute Ibrahimovic, who had replaced Toivonen after just 25 minutes. His hat-trick making it a five-star night for Sweden. Sweden's lead over Hungary vanished in September with a 2-1 defeat that saw the two sides go level on points. Imre Zabic gave the hosts the lead just before half-time. Christian Wilhelmsen equalised on the hour mark, but Gershony Rudolf got the winner at the back post late on. A 5-0 win over San Marino the following week allowed them to keep pace in the hunt for qualification. Sweden guaranteed a top two finish when they beat Finland in Helsinki the following month. Larsson opened his side's account early on with a cool finish. Martin Olsen added another in the second half after Ibrahimovic's shot was parried. Finland pulled one back, but couldn't prevent Sweden from confirming a second-place finish in Group E. They went into their final match against the Netherlands, knowing a win would give them automatic qualification as best runners-up across all eight groups. Kim Kellström opened the scoring to the delight of the home fans. However, Klaas Jan Huntelaar equalised, and all looked lost when Dirk Kaup put the Dutch ahead after the break. But two goals in two minutes put Sweden back in front, Larsen scoring from the penalty spot before Toivonen powered in the winner. The victory means Sweden will join the Netherlands in Poland and Ukraine. YouTube.com forward slash goal is full of stuff like this and proper football too. To make sure you don't miss out, just hit the subscribe button. It really is that simple.